welcome back to Auto Drive Academy for Farming Simulator 22 on Mighty Mike. Today we're going to take a look at the different types of paths that you can create. We're also going to take a look at how to edit a course. But before we get started, help me supercharge this video. Please give me a thumbs up. That is very important to get my content out in front of other viewers. That would be very much appreciated. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at the different types of paths that you can create within your auto drive network. The first one here is visible on the highway here. You do see that there is a green line with a directional arrow and those are one way paths. And you would get to there by left clicking on your record button. And that would create this type of path. This is useful for any roadway that has traffic. Also, if you have a wide area that you want to have multiple implements or pieces of equipment able to pass by each other in, in different directions, then this is where you would use that. So we're not going to demonstrate how to create this path since we had already done that on the previous episode. But this is your first time joining. I'd suggest that you start with the first episode and then come back to this one. But what we're going to do is go ahead and drive down this road here. We're going to create a bi-directional path. So you get to that by right clicking on the record button. So I'm going to go ahead and move in a couple of spots here. And then we'll go ahead and connect this up to the roadway. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on the waypoint here and then hover over this one we're going to use the scroll wheel to get a nice arc and then left click so now we have a nice turn into this roadway uh, and we could go ahead and click it back out since this is a bi-directional road we'll go ahead and click there and then we'll do the same thing out to that waypoint so now that we have that done we're going to go ahead and drive across this field i have uh, two reasons for using this little lane here so the bi-directional road is very useful for a situation where you have a very narrow path and you want to be able to have traffic going both ways along this path and what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop right here i'm going to go ahead and create a waypoint and i'm going to call this midfield test midfield test all right we're going to continue on we're going to get down here to the other roadway we're going to stop short let's see we get one more marker there it is somewhere i'm going to stop recording just so i can find it there it is and I'm going to left click, hover, and use the scroll wheel. And same thing here, we'll have that one being able to turn in. All right, so now we have two connectors there on the end of that bi-directional path. And then I'm going to come down here, and we're going to come off the road. Start right there, and then I'm just going to create a single direction path we'll left click there and then we'll drive along we'll get a couple markers there's one there and then I'm going to create an endpoint here end test and then I'll pull up one more marker there we go and I'm going to stop recording and move so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to left click on the marker and then we'll curve back out to the road. And then the same thing back here. Now this one is a little tight. It'll be a, a tight turn. So we're going to go ahead and look at how to edit a waypoint. Click the right mouse button and hold. I can actually click and hold and move it around wherever I want to. If I click control, the left control button, or hold down left control, and then left click, I can actually add in points and then start 
with a course. As long as you hold down the control and click, it'll create a course. Uh, once you let off a control and then repress, it will start a new course. To get rid of those, we'll left alt and click those away. So very easy to add in points. If you want to, um, let's just say you accidentally deleted, oh shoot, I deleted that one. What do I do now? Well, that's pretty easy. Well, one, you can either reconnect it here. So I could left click and left click, and there it is. Or if you want to get rid of that, you left click at the start and left click and it goes away. And let's just say I want to add in a point here. And the same thing, left click there, left click, and there you connect it. So this one here is a little close to this marker right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and left click on that one out there on the road, hover, and then we'll create a nice little curve in to that point there. So that's how you edit. If you ever forget where to find that, if you click the double up arrows here on the auto drive window, there is uh, information that will tell you what to do. And it shows here left control will create a node, left alt will delete it, and then we're going to get into the left shift. We're going to look at that here in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and close that down. I'm not recording. So we do have our in test location there. And there's a car. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive back across the field here. And I'm going to show you what this does here. So we do have this waypoint here called midfield test. And I created that for a reason. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a moment. So I'm back to where we started on the course here. So we do have this path that goes across the field all the way over to this point here in test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a drive, start this guy driving over to that location. But I'm going to click here in test and I'm going to have him drive to it. We'll go ahead and click enable and he should turn here on this path and head across the field. And he's going to drive all the way across to the end point. So the nice thing about that path going across the field is that it can be used for a bi-directional route. So you can have the tractors going across the field, coming back across. But what we're going to look at now is the side road. And I wanted to demonstrate on this particular location here because of the fences that are here along the road. And it is just, it's just really a, a single path. And you see there the driver of the tractor has reached that end point. So I could actually, if I had a location out here, I could send him back across that field since it is a blue line path, a bi-directional path. But since it is kind of tight and we know that a semi-trailer or a combine, things like that, trying to go through here is not going to work. It's going to get hung up on that fence. There's no way around it unless you created the course to swing way out in the road and then swing into there. But that may not be what you want to do. So the way to keep roads or paths like this from being used on a normal basis is we're going to set it up as a side road. So what you do is you're going to left click. Let me actually back this guy up here real quick so I can see all of the nodes. We're going to hit or hold left shift and then we're going to click. And you see there it has changed that node to yellow as well as the line. Same thing, I'm going to click that one there. I'm going to click a few of those down that, down that road there. Just going to click them down. And then I'm going to also go ahead and click these as well. And we'll click a few down. So we have all of this initial part of the the path has been changed to side road. So what that's going to do is now that's going to keep everything from going down this path. They're actually now going to drive down the highway, get on the on-ramp, and then come back down the highway to the location instead of trying to cut across this field. 
and getting hung up or stuck. So I'm going to now set the endpoint to end test and I'm going to hit start there and he should bypass that location. He's going to drive all the way around the route to get to the endpoint. So that is very cool. That's a, a really neat feature that you can set up on some of these small little lanes to keep your bigger equipment from going down them, but it can still be used. And that's why I set up this middle point here, the midfield test, because auto drive will use that course or that path when it's absolutely necessary. And the only way to get to that marker is by going down that path. So I'm going to click the midfield test here. We'll start him again. And he should turn down it because that is the only way to get to that location. So this is very handy if you have little fields off of your main road that maybe connect over to another road and you don't want your equipment going through these little cut throughs. You can set them up as a side road and they'll only be used when absolutely necessary. And there you go. So that is very, very cool. It works out really well and it will keep your larger equipment, hopefully, from getting so tangled up in fences and trees, ditches, things like that unnecessarily. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please be sure to give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber, I wish you'd click that subscribe button today and then also click that bell so that you're notified of all future episodes of Auto Drive Academy. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you back here very soon.